What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the Assassin's Creed Odyssey walkthrough. I'm Campaign Poppy. Thank you so much for coming along. We are going to pick up right where we left off uh, after going into the Cult of the Cosmos, figuring out some heavy stuff that everybody's after me and my family. It's time to progress the story. The quest for this is... Memories Awoken. So we have to talk to Herodotus in Thermopylae. I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it, so I apologize. Looks like it is that way, but kind of below. So I'll just climb this and see how that goes. And so far I have to say this game has just been absolutely incredible. There's so much to do. I feel like once I complete the main quest, there's probably still hundreds of hours of side quests and stuff to do. Uh, which I will not be focusing on because I feel like I have like 300 videos. The suggested level for this quest is 13, but I'm hoping as like two-thirds of the way through level 12 I should still be okay. But we'll see. Killed that wolf. Oh. oh, hey. Okay, cool. It ran away. Glad to see those are afraid of me. See if I can make it down without dying. All right, that's not too bad. That's a really cool view. All right. I should have died. And after playing through this game so far, and then uh, especially after the Cult of the Cosmos mission, I realized the only, seems like the only real difference between playing as Cassandra and playing as Alexios is just some of the dialogues. The whole story is pretty much the same. I'm fairly certain that if I was Cassandra, then you would have seen Alexios come out of there being that psychotic person. And for everything I can tell, the recommendations on all the websites and stuff is to play as Cassandra. Which I wouldn't doubt. Sometimes I feel like the act the voice acting in this is a little bit forced. They say you can't walk this battlefield without getting blood on your toes. That should be fun. If you close your eyes, you can hear them. Their final war cries, before every last one of those brave Spartans perished. Their voices were silenced that day, but their story will be sung for an eternity. You didn't bring me here to talk about dead Spartans. What's on your mind, Rothothos? The Battle of Thermopylae still echoes in our hearts, but to stand here is to feel it in your bones. There is nothing here but ghosts. My concerns are with the living. Hold out your spear. My spear? What for? I need to know something. Yeah. 
Herodotos. I'm fine. I'm fine. The stories are true. That is the spear of Leonidas. The hero's blade. Where were Sparta's allies? The Spartans weren't alone in facing Xerxes and his hordes. Many from across the Greek world were armed and ready to fight alongside Leonidas and his 300. But when the mighty king looked into their eyes and saw fear, he sent them home. That sounds like madness, not bravery. It was foretold by the Pythia that Sparta would lose either its freedom or its king to the Persians. Leonidas made his choice. What happened to Leonidas after the battle? Xerxes was famous for honoring warriors who fought valiantly against the Persians. But Leonidas infuriated him so much, he cut off his head and impaled it on a pike. A bloody battle ensued, and his remains were reclaimed by the Spartans and buried here. Now, however, he rests where he belongs. In Sparta. What happened to the traitor, Ephialtes? King Xerxes paid him well, but treachery breeds treachery. A contract was put on his head, and he died as he lived. A coward. You knew this would happen. I didn't know, but I did suspect. There is a place I'd convinced myself was a dream. Until now, a peculiar structure on the island of Andros. Mysterious shapes carved in stone, like nothing I've ever seen. You want to sail to Andros so you can show me shapes? In my travels, I heard whispers of an ancient civilization, a people who came before. Your spear and that place are connected. You mentioned the people that came before. Who were they? They were not gods, but they lived far longer than any mortal, and were far more intelligent. I've seen carvings in caves, strange symbols that suggest it was this ancient civilization that created humankind, and provided them with fire. But Zeus blamed Prometheus. Yes. Well, perhaps his eagle has been feasting on the wrong liver. The spear awakened to you, Herodotos. I trust you. You understand. I will do everything in my power to help you find your mother. I promise. But first, we must sail to the island of Andros. I'll meet you at my ship. Welcome aboard the Adrestia, Irodotos. Will you be traveling with us? Only I guess I will. I have business to attend to in Athens. Irodotos is helping me find my mother. Seeking help from the gods has put Irodotos on your path, just like they put you on mine. They work in ways beyond our comprehension, and all we can do is follow their lead. You could be right. Irodotos and I share enemies, too. Like El Pinor? He is, once, part of a very powerful group called the Cult of Cosmos that controls the Greek world through the Oracle. Control the Oracle? Impossible! Apollo would not allow that! Now they're looking for my mother. I need to find her before they do. And I believe they will hurt others who oppose their views along the way. By Hermes! The Oracle lost to corruption, and now this cult? Do we know who leads them? I don't know for sure. But, I think it might be my sister. Your sister? By Zeus, your life is complicated. Tell me about it. But don't you worry. This cult of Cosmos now has three new enemies. And one of them fights like Athena and sits thunder like Zeus. We'll bring the wrath of the gods down upon them. Is he always this positive? Always. That's why I like him. Poseidon, carry us to Athens. First, we need to go to Andros. To Andros, then. 
We're going to have to do some upgrades to my ship if we're sailing in the water. Oh man, but I'm trying not to get into a battle. Perhaps not in the best condition. You couldn't have said this before we set sail? Where in Poseidon's name are we going to get the supplies? My father taught me that the sea takes, and we must do the same. Fortunately, there are plenty of pirate ships in these waters that we can board and take from. What are we waiting for? Let's hunt some pirates! Now that we have the necessary resources, we can upgrade the ship's order. The Poseidon be traced. She's in ramming shape now, like a beast in the ocean. So I have to upgrade the hull? Hull, yeah. Did I miss it? Let's see. So to track the quest, it's level 13. But I'm definitely not seeing that, so. I already upgraded the hull. But I don't know. I just need to do it again. Now we'll see what happens. Ready okay. to shoot! We missed! We didn't really miss. Oh, they have, a, they have some volleys here. I can ram them, I think. Wish me luck. Let's see. So now I have to board them. Press board. Oh, okay. Alright, let's see. So my general should be helping me, right? Why would I kick somebody who's on the ground already? very well. So he's kind of glitched out a little bit. So I can't really get to him that easily. Ship sword to hold unused equipment. Whatever. There's much to do, and many unknowns on our horizon. Increase speed. Okay, a little bit stuck. Balls ready. We've got a fight coming. Try another body. There we go. There's my bruise. Razors. Reset. That was bad captaining by me, I have to say. Oh my god. ready yourself! Oh Yeah we are. Wait, they're still alive? Okay, I got 
got this. At least I hope I got this. Yeah, ship is damaged. Special on these smaller boats, which is good. Way easier to take these ones out. Restore the entire ship's health. There's much to do, and many unknowns. They won't be going anywhere now. Looks like it does. Cool. Salvage nearby. We got the attack. So I'm assuming that. It it's gonna be a hectic time getting over to that island. There's the whale again. So I guess it's just pirates everywhere. Wow, these waves are no joke. Let's move! Can you kill a whale? Let's Not that go. I want to. Oars in! Full sail! Oars at the ready! Archers, we need you! Yeah. I'm not trying to attack the Spartans. That's why I was missing so bad. Drop the sail! Alright, whatever. Let's get out of here. But yeah, this game so far is a lot more ocean dependent than I thought it would. Not complaining, it's actually kind of fun doing the the sea battles. We'll show them what we're made of. Who? Lucky we got out of that alive. Do you guys see anything? I don't know. Could be useful. You really find a lot just floating around in the ocean. The Bay of Marathon is here. Marathon? You know, the battle where a handful of Athenians push back the first Persian invasion. Mm -hmm. The great Themistocles. King Darius of Persia. I'm not sure. The site where the great Theseus slayed the vicious Cretan bull. Oh, that marathon. <sighs> You're both hopeless. Fire! 
get our ship health back and do some boarding. Who's attacking me? More speed! Increase speed! More speed! Get your weapons ready! Archers! Get ready to fire! This just covers my ship a lot.
and I'm probably gonna hop straight back into battle. There's much to do, and many unknowns. That was horrible. I need more crew on here! Help! Ready your bows! We need to fire again! Spear! No! They're ready to fire! Abyss! Alaka! They are headed right for us! They got this one. Spear! Archer! Forward! Lose another round! a better landing on the ship. Drown. Yeah, he does go. Cool. We are pulling up to that salvage. All right, I hope that was it. Sea battles are stressful. The Hexers, there's a, a question I can hear you ask. Go on. Your spear. How did you find it? My mother told me that the Spartan army brought it back from the Battle of Thermopylae. Why bring it back to her? Leonidas was her father. Incredible. And it gives you visions. Perhaps it's trying to guide you. Show you a path. There's more. It helps me in battle. What do you mean? I. I can't really describe it. It's like I know what my opponent's next move will be, just before it happens. Fascinating. This is just extraordinary. We are approaching the Isle of the Mountains. Yes! Here we can see the tomb of the greatest Myrmidon, Achilles. I was more excited by the fact that Andros exports some of the most expensive marble in the world. All right, we'll go talk to whoever we need to over here. Oh man, there's bears everywhere. Here it is. fight bears today. Okay. Wow. So these little 13 animals are no joke. Cool, you can kick him. <laughs> Alright. I think before starting off Is a new piece a of the quest. I've never seen anything like it before. I will go ahead and stop it there and we'll pick up right here next time. Thank you guys so much for coming along. I really appreciate it. If you've been enjoying it, hit like, hit subscribe so you can see all of my videos. This is Campaign Poppy signing off.